We don't have a bus, so we're going to have to move this command post. So, you guys ready? We're ready. On right. three. One, One, two, two three. three. Move oh, that yeah. command post! past 32 hours, uh, just a complete makeover of this building. Uh, everything from painting to uh, organizing to power cleaning, creating two outdoor structures, one for um, a quiet place for people to spend time with their pets, another for people to, to socialize and get to see the energy levels of, of potential pets they're looking at adopting and stuff. Um, it, is, it has been a, a whirlwind two days and uh, about 150 volunteers that uh, did this. And the best part about it is not only not only does it create a better atmosphere for the dogs and cats, it creates a better atmosphere for our employees. Um, creates a better atmosphere for people coming here to you know consider adopting a, a new animal, a new family member, and then uh, you add on to it that uh, the majority of this this uh, project today was paid for by donations from concerned citizens, concerned business leaders in the community. Um, that's just a home run, and it has uh, been a great partnership, with Habitat for Humanity, all the volunteers that came out, and it's truly been a great day. You know, the inspiration is the animals. I mean, they um, they they you come here and. Uh, every every time I come here, I, I um, have to fight and resist the urge to take a take a dog home or take a cat home. And um, you know, I, I quit bringing my wife here because um, she doesn't fight the urge as well as I do. But you know, when you when you look at the the true essence of this facility, it is to give dogs, cats, the other animals we deal with. I mean, we've had pigs, we've had birds, we've had everything um, to give them a second hope at life. And uh, this is their temporary home, and we know that we know that this is a temporary home for them. Uh, we just we wanted to create an environment that was going to be inviting for people to come. This is the largest adoption center in Brevard County, and so it's located in the south end of the county. We wanted to create a, a truly um, inviting environment that people would come to and do it. So the inspiration was simply um, a bunch of us getting together, putting our heads together and saying, hey, if we did this, this, and this, we could make something great. I think it's great. It shows what happens when you bring a community together and they work together and make things happen. You have to remember also all the vets, they took in uh, the dogs while they're doing this work. So it's a really, truly community effort. It just shows what happens when everybody gets together, puts their heads together, and muscle together and works. I like the dog runs in the back are really amazing. And that's what really keeps dogs, you know, energized and yeah. people want to see them and that's what that keeps them healthy. Well, Habitat for Humanity partnering with the Sheriff's Department, uh, working together in this relationship really resulted in something that's going to be so beneficial for the community at large, but certainly the animals on an individual basis. There are a lot of good things that have come out of this. I think it was something like uh, 150 people uh, spent about 32 hours or so over the course of uh, Saturday and Sunday to put this uh, beautiful retouch, re rehab on this uh, facility. And the inside is just as beautiful as the outside. And I encourage everybody to come down and take a look at the, uh, the new animal shelter here at uh, Sarno and O'Galley area. It's beautiful. Um, 
uh, one of our presidents said that um, volunteers don't get paid anything, not because they're not worth anything, but because they're priceless. And this is truly, uh, this is truly a, a, a fact of that. When you look at 150 people took Saturday and Sunday out of their lives, I mean, everybody's busy, everybody's got things going on, but they took the past two days to come here to change the lives of these animals, to change the lives of our employees, to change the lives of our county. When you look at animal services, it is a vital part of, of your community. It is truly about the health and well-being of our community. So um, just uh, we couldn't have done it without volunteers. We couldn't have done it without Habitat for Humanity, East Coast Fence, and East Coast Construction. Um, they, they took their two or their paint crews, brought them in, and in two days they completely repainted this facility, inside and out. So um, we couldn't have done any of this without volunteers. Thank you for everything you do, and as I um, as I always say, Space Coast Daily does a great job at partnering with us and putting out the, the information, all of our crime prevention information, everything else to help our community. So we greatly appreciate that partnership. Thanks, sure.